Joseph Vassa comes in to blindside flanker, replacing Chenille Singh and Jake Turnbull at loose head prop. Captains aside for the 13th time this season. And in the backs, no David still today after his red card offence last week. Instead, Tomasi Alessio will start on the left wing. Junior Garfa shifts from inside to outside centre to make way for Oscar Koller, replacing Sebastian Zeridze, who moves to the bench. Anthem head coach Alama Irimima, and of course our reserves really looking for Stefan Bernan Welt to come in and make an impact. And then of course, we hope to see Sione Latu. And now over to our away starting lineups brought to you by Ardmore Roderick. Three changes to the Chicago forwards who triumphed over San Diego last week. Nicolas Revol Pitt replaces Charlie Abel at loose head prop. Yanis Fenter replaces Dylan Fawcett at hooker. And Mac Jones returns to start at open side flanker. Anthem in their trademark blue, kicking off to Chicago in the green stripes. Very partial to the stripes myself. And of course, I'm Wendy Young, joined by Mark Strabina. We'll be bringing this one for you tonight. And Mark, we know that there's so much pressure on Chicago. Turnbull, the captain, coming in just to have a word with Robinson. Beautiful throw to the back, and now the mall. It's out quickly, but Robinson's going to jump on it. An early score for the anthem at home. Beautiful work by Connor Robinson to quickly pick up that ball and touch this down for anthem point. And they do it in emphatic fashion. That throw, as you said, Wendy, was a beauty. Pinpoint to the back, and then the peel. Wow, they weren't expecting that Chicago. As you see Luke White appealing to the assistant referees. I'm not sure what he was protesting. He just pick from the base, Patty Ryan. Now he's a little bit isolated. We've got two poachers, but no luck there. We go quick ball to the outside. Now something's on. Beautiful line there. McLean Jones all the way across the line. No defense in front of him as he slid through. Beauty. On a few occasions, equally impressive was the patience from the young defense. They didn't give any penalties away, even though they were under immense pressure. You see some big tackles coming in. However, Chicago, well, that was a line ball. As flat as they come, that could have been deemed forward. But all the same, what a line and angle from Mac Jones on the 40 meter line, but still prime attacking opportunity now for Chicago. They're gonna go to Meeks, who go immediately goes to the try scorer himself, see if he can do it again. Mac Jones, and he is just dancing around, very unselfish from him to dump this off to the vice captain, Luke White. Huge impact on this game, thought he might go all the way himself. Simple stuff just across to Billy Meeks, the no-look pass on the inside. They had so many numbers, really difficult to defend with all those white and green jerseys. And well supported from Luke White, the big man. And he loved to score the try. That is a menacing sight. Now getting the offload to Turnbull, he gets to the five meter line. White Tokia's there. They're gonna go to this left side. They've got lots of numbers. What a step oh, wow. that is by Cleveland Loebscher to just dance into that line and another try for Anthem. Chicago goes again. They're gonna go a little quicker this time. You can see the setup. They almost were fainting and then going again. See if they can get the drive. They're very patient in this set piece. There now. There's the turn, gonna put them through the front. Can they go across? They do! Beautiful work there by the Hounds. Have to guess that it's probably the hooker, but we'll confirm that in just a moment. So they're gonna go to the left. Meeks is gonna go over the top, but picked by Anthem. Alosia, can he have the distance? He's got lots of support. Go all the way. Yep, he's gonna go all the way himself. Wow, what an intercept and an individual effort there by Tomasia Alasio. Turnbull was a late arrival. Luke White, big carry from him. We've got penalty advantage out to O'Keefe. He's gonna go over the top to Dominguez. Across the line is Dominguez scoring for the Hounds, and that is a big try in this second half. And as we talked about there, turnover from them. They have led a couple of times and let it go in the wow. second half, but not this time. Looking really good from Apoquitia. 
Fawcett will have the throw. Eagle on your bench never hurts, and they're gonna push this one from five out and just get it rolling, and Fawcett gonna push this one down for a huge score for the Hounds. They needed that one. Lots of fresh legs in for the Hounds. Apapula gonna carry. Oh, from the base, the big man, the lock, and oh, he hands it off, he dishes it to Butcher. Fawcett, who gets his second try of the match. Really dangerous here, they're working inside a small in goal. They're gonna play it out here. Yep, now they're gonna step out the back. And that'll be the final whistle there. Chicago surviving a young anthem side, playing at home with nothing to lose.